Good morning. I am. Um, I packed out food yesterday, but look what I have for breakfast. A lovely salad. That's unusual. Vista is over there. It's dried is over there. Everybody else is gone. But lovely sunrise, but I am being super lazy in my tent this morning. So I am about ready to go, but I just wanted to give you a quick tour of where I stayed last night. It is the last one in Connecticut, the northernmost one. There's a privy up there. There's a few tent pads. Um, I can't use a tent pad because I don't have a freestanding tent. There's a bear box. And then the shelter is up there, the picnic table. And there's water right here. And that way, all the way up there is uh, how I get back to the AT. It's a half mile walk. Let me show you the bear box. Um, it's a half mile walk up a very steep hill. And then I have to get to the top of this hill so that I can go down the hill to the town. But also, I will hit the 1500 mile mark. And if I keep hiking today, I will get in Massachusetts. But if I don't, if I stay in this town, which I might, then I will be in Connecticut for one more day. One of my favorite things is when we walk out of the woods into a field or something like this and just have a nice open view. This is Giant's Thumb. Whew. I'm coming really close on the 1500 mile mark. I'm at like 1499 point seven right now, so should be just up ahead on the trail. Can't believe I've walked 1500 miles <sighs> over mountains with a pack on. Like the one of the things we think about when we try to explain like how tough it is to somebody is okay like I'm not doing a marathon a day there's no way like that's 26 miles but a lot of times a lot of days I'm doing a half marathon so imagine 
all you people who run half marathons, getting up, putting on a, you know, 20 to 40 pound pack and doing that half marathon in the mountains. And then going to bed and getting up the next day and doing it again. And then going to bed and then getting up the next day and doing it again. It's, it's really the incredible physical toll this takes on you. Like, I was just looking at myself today, my legs. And I was like, holy crap, my legs are looking really skinny. It's been a lot of this lately. mud and some southbounders I talked to said that Vermont is just mud puddles so we'll see hopefully the rain is we've been getting a lot of rain but it hasn't rained in days now so hopefully things will dry up a little bit Well, it's official, 1,500 miles. I'm trying to sound enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm having such a rough day trying and trying to sound uh, fun and happy. It's not happening. So, anyhow, I've walked 1,500 miles, ladies and gentlemen. This is the trail. It means I have... 693.1 miles left. That's my fanny pack. You're seeing. This is one of the moments when I'm really glad I'm Nobo. I don't know if you could tell how steep this hill is. But we're dropping down it pretty quickly. And that's straight. That's down. Yeah. Back to the town of Salisbury. It's a very cute, quaint little town. Look at their little bank. It's like from the movies. There's coffee shop and bakery. I think I'm going to have to keep up. Alright, I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to go. I had to stop and get uh, iced coffee and some cupcakes. Carrot cake and coconut. Yum. I do have to get over to the post office, which is right over there in a little bit to try and get a few things mailed out. But then I have to go try and charge my devices. So many of these little guys on the trail lately. Whoop! You see them? Tiny, tiny, tiny little toads. Little teeny guys. Hi, little guy. Well, I finally made it to the shelter, and this is the view. I heard it has an amazing sunrise, but um, with the bug situation, I need to be in my tent. And as you can see, a oh, nice little shelter. Cute. I'd love to sleep in it, but you know, this time of year, it's just snakes and spiders and mosquitoes and gnats and everything comes and visits you, and I'd rather be in my tent. Um, there's sort of a level site right there, but there's these uh, weekenders that are here, or sectioners that are 
going to be eating here, so I'm guessing that might go a little late. And... So, let's see. There's actual sites here. So I guess I'll go find uh, they have actual like campsites. It's kind of how hold on, it's pretty wiggly. It's kind of how they do it here in Connecticut. Oh, and by the way, in my last video I said I was at the last shelter in Connecticut. That is not true. There is this one and I haven't looked up if there's another one like a mile and a half down really close together and I'm not sure if that's the first one in Massachusetts or they just put two really close together in the same state I'm not sure sometimes they're so far apart and like these two are like ridiculously close um, what's this way? um you didn't knew this looks like a bunch of down trees Oh, there's a bear box there. Did I not walk past that? I must get lost already. So these guys are right there. I think I will go down to the next one. See if I can get um Moonshine and Hillbilly to camp with me. They're on their way here. They haven't got here yet. Let's check out this site. This is cute, but it's like literally big enough for one. Those guys are kind of far away from it. I mean, that's not bad. 